Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a pay-per-view with apocalyptic proportions. It's heck in a sec. I am your host, Silver Spoon, joined as always by the man who walked through hell and lived to tell the tale. It's Captain Tibbs. Hey, you know what, Silves? We're all partying like it's the end of the damn world because it might just be. Because I have to later tonight, we have. T- all right, Tibbs. I'm, I'm, I need to stop right here. Cause the hammer man's coming out. The hammer man's gonna come out. And he's gonna save all of us. He's gonna save all of us. He's gonna beat Blake Tanner. He's gonna be the champion. Champion. Here's the hammer man. 100% hammer. 100% iron steel in his vein. Iron mask. Face man. Beat him up with the hammer, my boy. We kind of left the audience hanging on the whole end of the world thing, but yes, that is indeed the Hammer Man, the uh, king of the Steel City. He defeated three other men in that tournament to go on to this match, where he is, of course, going to be facing off against the JWF Captain's Champion, Blake Tanner. But it's not going to be in a normal match, is it, Tibbs? Not at all, Sills. It's going to be in a grueling creation of my own inner machinations. It's gonna be in the heck in a rock. That's right, Tim's the horrifying heck in a sex uh, structure just looming over the head of the hammer man who is sitting there waiting for his opponent to come out to the ring. And there he is, Tibbs, one third of the dynasty, one half of the JWF tag team champions and the JWF captain's champion. Blake Tanner. So someone who was once extremely well respected in our field, extremely respected in the business, a dominating champion, someone who held the world title against any and all odds, any and all predictions that anyone could have, Blake Tanner, but now he's here. He is our captain's champion, the championship that I made, that I brought to this company, and he's been a real dick about it. Well, Tibbs, I mean, yes, as you said it, he may be a dick now, but his record in heck in a sec is unparalleled. Last year, he faced off against three other men in a brutal brutal fatal four-way match in order to retain the JWF World Heavyweight Championship. The year before that, he defeated Griffin Clouds to win that very same championship. When it comes to heck in a sec, Blake Tanner, let me tell you something, Tibbs. Hammerman's theme music may say you can't touch this, but I think Blake can't be touched today. Now, seems that I will say it is amazing at the mastery that Blake Tanner in his few short years in the JWF has attained for the heck in a sec match. Something that I pulled out of hell itself. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a heck in a sec match for the JWF Captain's Championship. In the left corner, he is your 2019 King of the Steel City. He is the Hammerman. And in the right corner, he is one half of the JWF Tag Team Champions and your JWF Captain's Champion. It is he, the B, Blake Tanner. All right, and there is Blake Tanner handing off that championship that so many greats in this company have held. The Dylan, your son Chuck, even the Hammerman has had his hands on the whole Shimmy! I felt that I could, could do that too since it's my championship. All right, look, I know you signed my paychecks, but hold it high, Shibby, is my thing. No damn That's Hammerman it. out of the gate! <laughs> with a massive clothesline to Blake Tanner. And you know what? I'm going to forget the last seven seconds of my life because this match has already started out amazing. That's right. Hammerman, I mean, just take it out, Blake, whipping him into that turnbuckle. Now Hammerman, ooh, I think might have been going for something big, but Blake fighting back, chopped to the chest, but Hammerman returns the favor. 
And it looks like no matter what happens, both of these men, they have an answer for one another. These two seem unparalleled. Ooh, Hammerman with a big DDT. That was a great reverse of that gorilla press that Blake Tanner was trying to do. That's right, Tibbs. But of course, as we've seen in the lead up to this match, the Hammerman and Blake Tanner, they both feel almost exactly the same heading into this match. They both feel disrespected by the JWF. They both feel ignored. Ooh, and Hammerman taking out, <laughs> taking out that aggression, just tossing Blake into everything and then throwing him onto the ground. After he threw him out onto the steel structure of heck in a sec, did the Hammerman just step on Blake's face? Because that was great. That's right, Hammerman. This is showing a new brutality from the masked man. So a side of him we've honestly never seen in the past, just continually whipping Blake's body into that metal structure, but oh, Blake returning the favor. Oh, just big elbow sending him back first into those walls. Yeah. You know what I want to see, Sills? You know what I want to see in heck in a sec? I want to be somebody mashed through it like a meat grinder. That's right. And oh, Blake getting sent into it once again. And now both of these men, I mean, they're just trying their best to continue this brutality. And then Blake Tanner, oh, whipping Hammerman into those steel steps. They really like that corner, don't they? That's right. But, I mean, let's not forget, Tibbs. Blake has got to be careful. Ooh, get oh. this leg whipped into the ring by the Hammerman. But as I was saying, Blake has to be careful because this is not Blake Tanner's only match tonight. In fact, right after this, he's going to have to come right back out to this ring to face your son, Chuck, his tag team partner, the Dylan, and the Canadian crew in a triple threat tag team match for the tag team championships. But unfortunately, oh, Hammer trying to end it so soon with that big Hammer boot going for the pinfall. One, two, and then, oh, Blake Tanner kicking out at two and three quarters. And I think all Hammer Man's got to do is deliver one Hammer leg drop, and it might be all she wrote for the man known as the Beat. And you know what, Sills, I'm glad you mentioned that tag team match later on because I'll tell you, it's going to be so sweet seeing both of my boys win tonight. That... All right, I know Chuck is your son, but the Hammer Man is not, like, confirmed not your son. Sills, there's oh a my God! Oh, sh He was going for the hammer leg drop. Blake Tanner popping up, hitting that super kick, the move that allowed him to defeat the Hammer Man just a few short months ago for the championship, and now Blake Tanner on fire, taking out the Hammer Man, big kick to the face. Oh, you know, I may hate him, but that's a really good combination. That's right, and big European uppercut that Blake Tanner is known for. Stomp it on the chest, and now stomp it on the arm, just taking down each piece of the Hammer Man, going for the pinfall one. Ooh, and Hammerman kicking out at two. Of course he does. You know, Sills, now listen here. Going back to our conversation, if you tell me that I can't adopt a 35-year-old man, then I'm just going to throw my hands up and leave. Well, speaking of throwing Blake Tanner, I mean, like you were saying, Hammerman throwing Blake back into their favorite little corner over there. You got to wonder, Sills, Blake Tanner, the master of heck in a sec, but now, now it looks like he is being master. That's right, but now taking Hammerman, throwing him back into the ring. And who knows? We know Blake Tanner. He can turn a match around in a second, whether that be with a bee sting, a Blake out, and ooh, looks like he was actually trying for an SMG, the move of his tag team partner, Scotty Moore, going for the pinfall one. Ooh, and Hammerman kicking out once again. Of course he's kicking out, Sills. He's a Hammerman. Yeah. <laughs> And now at this point, I've got to ask you, do you think Blake Tanner is getting desperate? He's going for pinfalls off of, of small moves, just trying his best to end this match. Do you do you think he's almost scared of the Hammer Man ending his reign? So Blake Tanner has been utterly, utterly terrified since this match started. Of course he's desperate. He's been desperate from moment one because he knows he's going up against the Hammer Man. All right, now, ooh, Hammerman with a few swift kicks to the back of the leg, a smart move, but ooh, Blake tossing him overhead. That's the thing about Blake Tanner, you see him get in the ring, you see him wrestle that mat style, you don't expect that massive strength to be behind that small figure of Blake Tanner. He's an indeed a almost superhumanly strong being. It's very surprising, but after how long he held that 
World Heavyweight Championship. Of course, a little bit of it probably rubbed off on him. That's right, Blake Tanner holding the World Heavyweight Championship for, like I said, exactly a year. Blake knows this pay-per-view. He loves this pay-per-view. Because you got to remember, not only is this the pay-per-view where he first won the title, but it is also where he lost the title after Brunch Boy Baron cashed in his cash-in-the-bag briefcase after Blake went through that hellacious fatal four-way. Mm -hmm. And so if you got to think, both of these guys in here, Although the Hammer Man, oh, he's cl whoa! Hammer Man, Tibbs, I'm sorry. I know you said you went all out on the budget for this, but that 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 metal of the cage just crumbled like it was nothing as Blake Tanner was sitting flying through it. That's pure adamantium. That's the thing in Wolverine. Tib Tibbs, I think someone lied to you about what the metal was. Adamantium. All right, but wait a minute. Hammerman now tossing Blake up onto the ramp. And at this point, I, I mean, the point of heck in a sec is to be contained, to be sealed within that cage. They've broken free, and now all chaos is raining loose in the JWF universe. Oh, you know what? They were held together by zip ties. That's a problem. All right, that might have might have been the issue. Hammerman whipping Blake into that cage once again, but Blake wisely trying to make an escape, climbing up the cell, but I don't know if this is a wise move. Sills, is he trying to make an escape? You gotta think, you gotta think about Blake Tanner, how much success he's had at the very top of that cage. That's right, of course, winning the title, winning the JWF Championship after Griffin Clouds actually managed to fall through the top of the cell. And who knows, we may have a repeat of that match tonight, but God, I'd hate to see. I know, Sills. So if the Hammerman were to fall through that grate, I, I mean, it's impossible to think that he would do something like that. It's just crazy. Well, Blake Tanner trying to make it happen. Running powerbomb, but ooh, Hammerman just falling back first onto that metal beam. And you know that can't feel good. As Blake's got him, he's picked him up. For the beasting! Oh my god! Shabba! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the beasting has just sent Blake Tanner and the Hammer Man through the top of the cell! Blake Tanner managing to hold on, stopping, and now he's locked him in! He's got that Blake Panther submission locked in, but oh my god, the Hammer Man fights out! <laughs> He's got to be in such extreme pain right now, but pain is nothing to a hammer. That's right. Big leg drop at the Hammerman avoiding it. I'm surprised Hammerman's even able to walk. Oh, let alone nail that big hammer kick. And Tibbs, I mean, what in the world's the Hammerman made out of? That he It's like falling 14 feet just made the Hammerman angrier. That's right, and now picking him up. Big kick to the back of the spine of Blake Tanner as the Hammerman hits a senton. Oh, but Blake getting the knees up. Come on, Hammerman. You're right there. You're right in the prime. You're full of anger. You're full of resentment. You're full of energy. Let that adrenaline flow through you into a big old hammer death. Oh, well, unfortunately, Blake stopping him at the pass once again with that beasting stomping on him. And oh no, Tibbs, he's backed up. Blake out in the center of the ring. Blake Tanner. Wait a minute, Blake picking up the Hammer Man. He was trying to cause more damage, but Hammer Man fought back. And then he hits the Shining Wizard. That was pretty. But he's now climbing to the top rope. He's going for it. Hammer leg drop to Blake Tanner. Let's see that one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Hammer man, you gotta do this. You know you're doing it for me. You're doing it for your family. But you're doing it for me most importantly. Oh, wait. And especially me. Another one. Another. He's going for another. A second hammer leg drop. I don't, I don't think we need to see a replay for this. I one. want it. All right. Show it. All right, Tibbs. Well. There's that second hammer leg drop, and now he's going for thirds. Hammerman, an avid thespian, knows the rule of threes. Oh my God, Blake Tanner! Blake Jesus. Tanner rolled out of the way. He's got the Hammerman picking him up for a third bee sting before stomping on the chest. And Tibbs, I hate to say it, 
but nails it. The Blake out. My God. One, two, three. No, sells down. Well, Tibbs, as much as you wanna, as much no. as you, as much as you wanna say, as much as you wanna be sad for the Hammer Man, let's not let's not forget the kind of performance the Hammer Man put on tonight. He ate that beasting through the top of the cell and just came back angrier. He got out of the Blake Panther submission in nearly two seconds. The Hammer Man, he was nothing to sneeze at tonight. In all cells, he proved that he was an amazing competitor, but I suppose when it comes down to it, you can't beat the master of heck. That's right, but no. Hey, now, hold on, what are you doing? Blake Tanner? Apparently, just going through that match wasn't enough as he takes the hammer man, whips him into the turnbuckle, and oh my god, back suplex onto the JWF Captain's Championship. And now Blake. Sounds it's utterly unconscionable. Just whipping the title against the skull of the hammer man, picking him up. And now what's Blake trying for? Oh my god running at him and just whipping that title across the skull that pure metal just bending across that mask of the hammer man and blake tanner blake tanner's not done oh sills the captain's championship is made of pure vibranium that's right oh slamming it over the head once again Someone's got to stop this. No, he's got the Black Panther once again, but Shibata, Shibata trying to stop it as he just cranks on the neck of the Hammer Man and Tibbs. Blake Tanner's actions right now are disgusting. Hey, everybody. Captain Tibbs here, commissioner of the JWF. And I'm here today to tell you about merch.aloadofpurebs.com slash fightboys, where you can find all of your great eight merchandise for the JWF superstars that you love the most. Here we have t-shirts, tumblers, whatever you could want, you, where you can support your favorite superstars. We have things like the Blake Tanner anti-underdog shirt. We have the Captain Tibbs shirt with my beautiful face on it. Something with the JWF logo. Are you a fight boy or a fight girl? Doesn't matter, we got shirts for them both. And of course, my favorite, the Fight Boys Tumbler Glass. You can put anything in it, even Captain Tibbs special drink. Whatever you want, find it over at merch.aloadofpurebs.com and look for the Fight Boys section. All right, Tibbs, we are back in the JWF Hack in a Sack Arena once again for this match that I know you've got some personal stakes in. Zilza, this is my personal favorite match of the night because this may be the last chance that I get to see my boy in this world. So I'm, I'm going to just really enjoy every moment of it. And every moment of my son's front and down looks like that. And every moment of feeling like that Dylan has just got that powerful personality. And every moment of thinking, Blake Taylor, that little son of a bitch that just beat up the hammer man is going to get what's coming to him. That's right, Tibbs, and we can see it ringside. The ladders are set up because earlier today you announced that these three men, these three teams, were going to be facing off in not just a normal match, but a ladder match. Of course, Sills. What better way for tag teams to square off than a ladder match? That's right. Some of the greatest bouts in professional wrestling history happening in triple threat tag team ladder matches. They are famous in history, whether they be in the JWF or some other companies that we don't the really- The bad like ones. The bad ones that we don't really like to talk about. A triple threat tag team ladder match, some of the best of all time. And I know these two are coming down to the ring right now, hoping that they can make some history tonight. Yeah, so can I just take a second to point out this utter bastard Felix Ball as he walks down into my ring with his bastard swagger and his bastard face and his bastard beard and his bastard headband. 
And also the Lumberjack is with him as well. Felix Ball and the Lumberjack, the Canadian crew. Actually, former tag team partners with your son, Chuck. We don't like to talk about that, Sills. That's right, Tim. But right now, what I would like to talk about are our JWF Tag Team Champions. The team of Blake Tanner. Blake Tanner is coming out, seeming to show no effects from that earlier grueling match between him and the Hammerman. And of course, that man, Mr. Cash in the bag, Scotty more and Tibbs I know earlier tonight we talked about how last year Blake Tanner was cashed in on by brunch boy Baron to lose his JWF championship Scotty's promised to try to bring that same thing tonight he said it doesn't matter who wins the main event he's going to cash in on them and win the championship and Tibbs do you even think that's a smart move given how powerful powerful the two men in our main event are Sills, the world might not even exist by the time the main event is over, so I'll just say to this robe-dressed, glowing motherfucker right here, Scotty Moore, and his pointy little whatever that is on his shoulders, good luck. That's right, Tibbs, but the BS are here, and as much as we want to talk about their actions outside of the ring we really do need to let their actions inside speak for themselves they are two of the most decorated men in jwf history multiple time tag team champions captains champions jwf champions if there's a, something to be won in the jwf the bs have done it yeah of course they have sales or two dominating personalities are great in the ring some of the best competitors i've ever seen but come on they're kind of dicks oh well sorry to interrupt you but if we notice the dylan with a massive moonsault to felix ball on the outside before whipping him into those steel steps and now dylan picking up those steps just ready to cause some chaos you know the dylan is also kind of a dick but he's my kind of dick if you know what i mean that's right. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Lumberjack working over Scotty Moore as Blake Tanner and your son face off. And, I mean, Blake and Chuck, they've had a long history with one another. One of Blake's first challengers for the JWF World Heavyweight Champion was, in fact, your son, Chuck. Now, Sills, I will say, that was at a time when my son had forgotten himself. My son didn't really know who he was before he really, really accepted his lot in life as a Tibbs. That's right, meanwhile, Scotty with a, what? Scotty actually stealing total destruction, the move of Chuck's tag team partner, the Dylan, and you know Chuck can't be happy about that, Tibbs. Oh, not at all, Stills, of course. That's Scotty Moore's thing at this point. So you gotta watch out for anything that might be familiar, even if it's your own tag team partner's finisher. That's something that Scotty Moore can bring to the table. That's right. Now Scotty quickly fighting out of the DD Tibbs. Ooh, and nailing, nailing Chuck with that SMG in the center of the ring. But at this point, Tibbs, I mean, none of these men are even going for ladders. Both of them, all three of these teams just wanting to cause chaos, it looks like. And Dylan proving my point with a massive spear through the barricade wall. Let's see that one more time. Oh, I love it. Oh, you know those barricades are reinforced with titanium steel alloy. But it, that doesn't matter when you're spearing the densest dumbass in the planet. That's right. Now, oh, Chuck taking down Scotty after Scotty brought that ladder into the ring. But it looks like Chuck's tag team partner, the Dylan, working with a ladder of his own. A wise move. Chuck. Chuck, bud, you gotta set up the ladder to get the t title, bud. Well, let me tell you something. I think he was setting it up, then saw Scotty Moore back on his feet, thought instead he could use it as a weapon. And speaking of using those ladders as a weapon, the Dylan has set up this horrifying bridge on the outside of the ring. And now Dylan climbing to the top, but ooh, gets knocked down by Scotty Moore. That cannot feel good. The back. Your lower back impacting right there on that metal ladder like that. That's right. And now, looks like Scotty picking up the ladder and picking up Blake at the same time. But unfortunately, the Lumberjack tried to put in a little bit of effort. And, you know, we like to 
We like to joke about the Canadian crew. We like to make fun of them, but we cannot forget that is a seven foot Redwood beast of a man. Oh, but he's quickly taken down by Blake Tanner. Of course he is. Blake Tanner, of course, has a bit of the history with the Lumberjack. Lumberjack was kind of terrifying early on in Blake Tanner's World Heavyweight oh, Championship. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Blake yes. Tanner's got Felix on that wait. bridge and a massive oh. splash sends Felix Ball through that ladder and Dylan with a moonsault to follow it up. You know, Sills, I may dislike Blake Tanner right now, but that doesn't hold a candle. How much I enjoyed seeing that dense bastard Felix Ball get smashed through that ladder. That's right. Meanwhile, both your son and his tag team partner on the top of those ladders. But, oh, unfortunately, Lumberjack knocking the ladder out from underneath him and Chuck taken out by Scotty Moore. Oh, so this is the kind of chaos that I love to see. That's right. Now, at this point, I mean, it's anyone's game. Blake struggling to get back to his feet. Meanwhile, Scotty and Felix fighting it out as Dylan and the Lumberjack. I mean, Dylan was the Lumberjack's first opponent in the JWF when he arrived so many years ago. You gotta think that history between those two is causing a little bit of this mayhem between them. The Dylan has a lot of resentment towards the Canada crew. Oh, and he shows it off with that upper dicker to the lumberjack before picking up that ladder and setting it up in the center of the ring. Mm -hmm. And look at who's fresh and who's up. And <laughs> look, get him, Chuck. Get him. That's right, allowing Chuck Tibbs to climb to the top of that ladder and taking Blake Tanner, tossing him into the turnbuckle is the Dylan. But unfortunately, Blake wisely getting out of the way. Was Dylan trying to stabilize the ladder for his partner? That was very nice of him. But unfortunately, Lumberjack fighting back, tossing that ladder. Chuck is just dangling and is taken out once again. Oh, you know, I can't feel good. You're right there. You're just moments from getting getting the gold. And then they, someone takes the, the ladder right out from under you. I, I feel for you, son. I really do. That's right. Oh, Big Gorilla press slam takes out Blake Tanner. And Tibbs, what did I say earlier? The Lumberjack, he's the only one standing in the ring taking out one half of the tag team champions. And, I mean, Blake's already been through that vicious heck in a sec match, so you know he can't be feeling good right now. Not at all, Sills. He's, I'm amazed that he's still standing up after everything that happened in that match with the Hammer Man. Everything after he put Felix Ball through that ladder just a few moments ago. I, that is some resiliency, but I, I can't say I'm surprised. That's right, but ooh, Blake with a big back suplex to Blake Tanner. All right, now Dylan getting back in the ring. I don't know. Oh, Dylan with that big running knee to Felix Ball and now going after the Lumberjack once again. Big upper dicker straight to the seven foot Redwood. And now it looks like Dylan trying to start to clear house, sending Lumberjack to the outside. And I mean, like you said earlier, the Dylan and Chuck, they have a history with the Lumberjack. They have a history with the Canadian crew facing off against them at Summerfest. And this is just, this is masterful tag team action sills between the Dylan and my son Chuck Tibbs. They are taking it to everybody else. They are dominating. That's right. And now Dylan finally tossing Felix Ball to the outside, whipping him down, and now going after the Lumberjack. Oh, and it's now just Chuck on the top. Dylan climbing up to join your son. No one else is up. No one else is getting those titles. Wait. What's Dylan doing? What? Hold the phone. Dylan! What are you doing? Dylan assaulting your son, forcing him off the top of that ladder. And now, Scotty Moore in the center of the ring. T Tibbs, what in the world is the Dylan thinking? He has turned on your son. And now he's going out to the outside to continue the punishment. What in the world is the Lord of the Smart Side thinking right now? So that means it. That means that the Canadian crew is all alone in the ring. 
That's right, but now Blake Tanner. Blake Tanner climbing to the top to join the Lumberjack as Chuck and Dylan continue to fight on the outside. And now, wait a minute, Blake. Blake's got the Lumberjack and a massive suplex from the top of the ladder by Blake Tanner. Meanwhile, Dylan getting back in the ring and wait a minute, Dylan, Dylan is saving Scotty Moore from Felix Ball is Tibbs, are we seeing, are we seeing the reunion of the Fight Boys right here? No. No, selves, not like this. Total destruction to Felix Ball. And now Dylan going back to the outside, picking up Chuck as Scotty Moore sits atop that ladder. Oh my God, selves, no. He can't do it like this. Not like this. Well, and, no, no. and he's got it. The Dynasty have retained the JWF Tag Team Championships. But Tim, let me tell you right now, I don't think it would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard, that Lord of the Spark side, the Dylan. So they were doing so well. Why would he do that to my son? Well, Why? Well, well, we know the history of the Dylan and the BS. We know their history as the Fight Boys. And it looks like the Dylan is trying to get the band back together, getting in the center of the ring alongside the BS. And Tibbs, I can't believe it. And it is. The three fists joining together. And Tibbs, it looks like the dynasty just got one stronger in the form of the Dylan. Hello, everybody. This is everyone's favorite commentator, Silver Spoon, here to remind you that after the show, to go to patreon.com slash a load of BS. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the JWF and all the other BS Network programs exist because of listeners like you, because of our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash a load of BS. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can support the JWF. You can support them good old Fight Boys, a uh, fun fiction, a load of BS. You can support the entire network for just a few dollars a month. And of course, you get access to our exclusive Discord where you can help us make decisions. You'll get shouted out on a load of BS every single week. We got tons of perks waiting for you over at patreon.com slash a load of BS. All right, Tibbs, here we, um, Tibbs, is this, is this who I think it is? Tibbs, Tibbs, it's the Leviathan. One of the most horrifying things I've ever seen in a JWF ring was when this man managed to toss Momoa Curry across the entire arena breaking apart the stadium. Sells so perhaps my greatest foe in all my years of living.
And Tibbs, let me tell you right now, I don't think I've ever been happier to see a match be a heck and a sec match. But as of right now, all I need is to keep this man caged away from the rest of this arena. We've seen what he can do to a building like this. And the only way, I think the only way to make this safe is to keep him contained in that vicious structure. Silves, though, I hope you've told your seven ex-wives that you love them. I'm up to eight now, but uh, I have. I've made the calls. But Tibbs, we can only pray. We can only pray that this man, that this God will be enough to stop his brother because this is the God of law, the God of the sea, and Tibbs, the God of the entire JWF. He is our world heavyweight champion, Momoa Curry. There he is, Tibbs Momoa Curry coming out to the ring, sporting the official war gear of his people, of the gods. He said that only for the most brutal battles, for the biggest brutalities, does a god truly bring out his armor, and the armor of Momoa is on full display tonight. And Tibbs... I, I think it might be the only way, the only piece I can find tonight is seeing that Momoa has brought out all the stops. I agree, Sills. He is wearing the armor of his ancestors. He's wearing the armor of the true gods. Sills, the last time <laughs> Leviathan was sealed away, it was a combined might of Momoa Curry, myself, and several others who I will not name, one of which may have been in a tag match earlier tonight, but I don't want to talk about it. We sealed him away, and he was brought back, and now only one left stands against him. Well, you say that, Tim, but earlier this week, Momoa made a plea. He made a plea to the JWF universe to come out and support him, and it looks like they've come out in droves. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is for the JWF World Heavyweight Championship. In the left corner, he is the monstrosity, the morning star, the love And in the right corner, he is the god of the JWF, our last hope for humanity, and your champion, Momoa Curry. All right, Tibbs, and there he is, Momoa handing off the title. The title that looks more dingy, it looks more worn after the entire life. All of the power of it was sucked out by the Leviathan. Hold it! Hi, Shibby! That was all my father's essence in itself. Stolen by the Leviathan. That's right. Used to resurrect the Leviathan by the maniacal team known as La Flambeau. And oh my god, the Leviathan with a series of shots to Momoa Curry to start things off. Gods, this is just a brutal battle ahead of the Sills. These two, they may fight for the entirety of the rest of our lives. That's right, as we found, apparently that JWF Championship, it still has that little ounce of power left in it. And apparently if, if the Leviathan gets his hands on it, well, that'll be the end of everything for all of us. Of course, Sills, there's the tiniest bit, just a drop of the Tibbs essence left in it. A drop of everything I left in that title for the one who is most worthy. And now it was stolen. 
stolen by La Flambeau and given to the Leviathan, and I couldn't be more pissed off, Silks. That's right, and unfortunately, as much as Momoa, as much as we've seen Momoa be amazing in the past, it looks like, it looks like the Leviathan's just been dominating. I don't think we've ever seen Momoa Curry dominated like this so viciously. Hey, Chuck. Hey, buddy. I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you I love you. You did a great job earlier tonight. I'm so sorry. I love you, son. Well, that's, love you. that's sweet to hear from you, Tibbs, and I'm sure Chuck will be happy to hear that. But wait, Momoa! <laughs> Fighting back with that huge clothesline. And Tibbs, you may be able to tell Chuck all that tonight yourself as Momoa knocks him. Ooh. Unfortunately, oh, no. Leviathan instead opting to go to the top turnbuckle. But, I mean, Tibbs, it, it seems like no matter what technique, the Leviathan has it mastered. He's gone to the top rope. He's gone technical. He's been a powerhouse. He's been a brawler. Every single aspect of professional wrestling, the Leviathan has running through his veins. He's grabbed Momoa by the throat and oh, Momoa wisely backing up, but he reverses into a DDT. Sills, I know you don't know the Leviathan like I do, but he is a master of every fighting craft. He, he is the one who taught Momoa Curry everything he knows. He is Momoa Curry's older brother. He was the one who was supposed to ascend to godhood, but he fell to become this maniacal machination. That's right. Now Momoa just trying his best, trying his best to take advantage of this weakened state of the Leviathan. Big clothesline. Goes for, ooh, went for another, but unfortunately the Leviathan ducks behind and hits a massive headbutt. That cranium just cracking the skull of Momoa Curry. He's now picked back up. And now the Leviathan tossing Momoa to the outside. And Tibbs, we may, ooh, really see what kind of hell the Leviathan can rot right now. Hello? Hey, buddy. Hey, I know you did great earlier tonight. Just listen. Hammerman, I'm so proud of you. All right, Tibbs. He's not. I'm so proud of everything you did. And you are going to. Tibbs, he's not your son. He's 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 part of the Cloud family. He has his own family to be with tonight. My best boy. I love you. All right, Sills, what's going on? Well, unfortunately, while you were making that phone call, the Leviathan has just been decimating Momoa Curry, sending him skull first into, ooh, every single element of steel around them, just trying his best. I don't think that he wants to win this by pinfall. I think he wants to kill the god of the JWF tonight. So it's the only thing that stands between him and complete domination is Momoa Curry. I I didn't want to say this, but that is exactly his goal. All right, but M Momoa wisely beating up the Leviathan, sending him around the ring, throwing him into the steel. And it seems like Momoa's finally getting it, getting his wits about himself, tossing the Leviathan into the ring. Momoa has fought some of the most difficult challenges ever. He has defeated some of the strongest we have to offer. And that Momoan punch has been how he's done it multiple times. Uh, Tibbs, he kicked out at like zero. He kicked out at nothing. And now Momoa, Momoa trying to, oh my God, like a shotgun blast. Momoa didn't even wait for him to stand before he nailed that vicious fisherman spear. Oh, thank goodness. Go on, get him, Momoa. Going for that pinfall once again. One, two, and then... Oh, okay, Leviathan is kicked out, but Hello? Momoa Curry has fought through more vicious than this. Momoa Curry is used to this. He's had men kick out of the Fisherman Spear before. He just has to keep laying in those vicious shots, I think. You know what, Sills? I think you're right. Hello? Hey, Felix? Um... Listen, this is going to be hard to say, but I respect you, and you're all right, okay? All right. We're going to die. Oh! 
Looks like he was going for that choke slam once again, but Momoa wisely hit him with that elbow and then ends him with another Momoan punch. Going for the pinfall. Momoa's throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him. Two. Oh, and <sighs> Leviathan still kicking out tips. So if you didn't hear that last call, did you? It was off mic, right? No, I feel like everyone, everyone in the arena heard you say that, Tibbs. Shit. Well, Tibbs, looks like Momoa trying to end it. Oh, with another spear. Going for the pinfall. One, two, two. Okay. Tibbs, I don't think you need to worry about people hearing that call because I don't know if those people are going to be around after this. So, I need you to give me a hug right now. All right, come to tell you. bring it in, Bob. I, I respect you. You are the best broadcasting partner. You're a hell of an opponent in the ring. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I let this happen, Sills. Please, Momoa, please, just do something. Well, unfortunately, it looks like what he's doing right now is getting whipped into that structure once again. And, oh, just getting wailed on once again by the Leviathan. And just when it seemed... Just when it seemed like Momoa was making a comeback. I mean, we've seen men that would have been, oh my God, he's been whipped to the outside. The beast has been unleashed. And Tibbs, I think we need to get out of here. No, Sills. There will be no more room. We have to stand with Momoa Curry if he has any hope. Sills, hold your hands up. Give him your energy. Uh, all right, Tibbs, I... I stand with Momoa Curry. Hold them up. He said it. He said it on last week's episode of Monday Night War. There is no running. There is no hiding. Tonight, you stand with Momoa Curry. Or, okay, he just got choke slammed on the top of the cage, Tibbs. I think we should start running and hiding. That might be a good idea, but actually, we've got good... we got ratings to support, so, so like... We still need the money, even if we're over in less than 30 minutes. Because Papa's got pills to pay. All right, but now Momoa wisely fighting back, luckily. I mean, he's he's eaten that big choke, choke breaker before. It's what killed him before, but... Oh, looks like he's fighting back this time. But unfortunately... Oh, there it is. Nails him with that fisherman spear once again on top of the cage. Driving him down onto that metal. That vicious yes. steel beam. Yes, Momoa. That's how you do it. Okay, Sills, I'm going to give him all my energy. Hold on. All right, Tibbs. Uh, oh, no, it's not working. Tibbs, I don't think it's working because he has now got him locked up. He is breaking the neck of Momoa Curry. And, uh, Tibbs, I think... I think Momoa Curry just tapped out. No. It it wasn't in the ring. It's not official, but he's beaten so brutally that he just got tapped out. And then Momoa! Power bomb through the top of the cell. God, please. Momoa, no. Are you sure we don't need to be running and hiding at this point, Tibbs? Because it looks like... It looks like the Leviathan's going for another choke Sells. breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Instead, Momoa was right. Instead bragging, playing to the audience. Big backbreaker from Momoa Curry. And I think Momoa, Momoa recovering pretty quickly from that vicious powerbomb. Trying his best to beat down his brother. Going for the pinfall. One, two, and he kicks out at two. Sills. So I want to save this for a last resort. If the worst should happen, I need you to open this bottle. All right. Tibbs. Just don't worry about it. Just don't. Tibbs, this is a bottle of whiskey. Yep, I'm going to need it. All right, Tibbs, but I don't know if you're going to need it right now as Momoa has now got his brother in a downed position, just working over the arms, trying his best and let me tell you something, that's a wise move. If he damages the arms, he may not be able to hit that choke breaker as well, but ooh! He went for the Momoan punch and he kicked out at zero again, Tibbs. Still, I'm scared. Well, Momoa's still trying his best to put down the Leviathan with a big sit-out powerbomb in the center of the ring, backing up. 
And now I think Momoa's ready to finish him off. Ready to take out the Leviathan with a fisherman spear. Okay. He hit a DDT. And now he's got him by the throat. But Momoa with a big elbow. And now he's picked him up for that big power bomb. Holds him for the pinfall. One, two, okay. Tibbs, what can he do? You were there the last time. What did you do last time? So that involved a lot of chanting. And really, have you ever seen several grown men beat up another grown man into such submission that he could not stand up and lock him away in the deep cells of Atlantis? Well, Tibbs, unfortunately, I don't think we have time for all that as he just nailed him with that choke breaker, the move that killed Momoa beforehand, going for the pinfall. One, two, three. <sighs> Momoa. Momoa's fighting back and Tibbs, the crowd, the crowd is beginning to chant, we stand with Momoa. Momoa's on his feet, and he hits the back suplex. Momoa Curry has been rejuvenated as he hits a second suplex on the Leviathan. So you gotta give him everything you got. And then big Momoan punch from the god of the JWF. He's backed up for it. He's got all energy. Spare, spare, spare. <laughs> Give it to a Momoa. The people are passing out. People are giving you everything they've got. Momoa Please. making his way back to his feet. We're pinning him. One, two, three. <laughs> Bob, let us live another day. Uh, and Tibbs, uh, after what was an absolutely hellacious match, Momoa Curry! Momoa Curry has defeated the Leviathan! He has survived hell itself! He survived more than that, Sills. Hell was brought to Earth. And Momoa Curry... He defeated... Like the brother I know he is. That's right, and Momoa getting the championship back holding it to the heavens, and Momoa climbing to the top rope, thanking the audience for their energy after what was an absolutely amazing, oh my god! Mm. Scotty Moore, Scotty Moore's here, he's got the cash in the bag briefcase, he said he was gonna do it, and he's cashing it in! He's cashing it in, but he's got the JWF title, no, and it looks so. like he's trying to finish him off, but no! Momoa with a big clothesline sends Scotty to the outside! My boy Momoa! Yes! Run! And he has got Scotty Moore on the run after that vicious clothesline! I think Scotty thought! I think Scotty thought that Momoa had used up everything he had! I think he thought Momoa was out! But Tibbs, that just proves why he is the god of law, god of the sea, and god of the entire damn GWF! Cause Scotty doesn't know! That is right, Tibbs! And tomorrow, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna eat breakfast, we're gonna go clang and bang and work out, and then we're gonna come right back to this arena for another episode of JWF Monday Night War, all because of Momoa Curry. Hey, Felix, eat my dick. That's right, Tibbs. And let me tell you something, this has been an amazing pay-per-view. We saw Blake Tanner defeat the Hammerman. We saw the BS realign with the Dylan to form the Fight Boys once again. But I don't give a damn about any of that shit. All I care about is the main event where Momoa Curry defeated his brother, defeated the Leviathan, and saved the entire world. And Tibbs, I gotta know, how do you feel? Yeah, baby! We live another day! We survived! We gave our energy! We are the best!
hell itself could not hold us back. That is right, Tibbs. And let me tell you something. If you want to see, if you want to hear every episode of JWF Monday Night War, you can on the Fight Boys podcast. Find it on YouTube, iTunes, or wherever fine podcasts are sold. But until next time, he's been Captain Tibbs. I've been Silver Spoon. This has been Heck in a Sec. And we will see you next time.